Uh, can you, uh, have you had any huge wins? Like, I think you'd said somewhere you had some pretty big names that you were working on. Like you worked on beast mode for yep. Marshawn Lynch. Yep. Yep. Can you tell us to talk to us about some of those pivotal moments or those big wins that you got? What do those do for your business? What was yeah, the scale of those kind of things? For sure. Yeah. So Beast Mode is actually a, a pretty crazy story. It's actually a really, a really cool one too. Um, so my wife was actually pregnant, um, with our youngest at that time. Um, when he had, um, I got, he, he was referred to us, um, and, he, he hit me up. He wanted to come by and meet with us and it got delayed. And then he ended up coming. It was on a Thursday. So he was supposed to come at 4 p.m. on a Thursday and something happened and it got pushed back. And some for something was going down with my wife and I had to take her to the emergency room right down the street. Um, but we, we both knew Marshawn Lynch was coming. I was like, I can't miss out this opportunity, but obviously the baby and you are important. Um, and so I got her to the hospital, waited for someone to meet me there. And then I took off. And as I pulled back into the factory, um, he was pulling in too. So it was like perfect timing. Um, and we, we gave him a tour. We had given him a tour previously, um, when he first came, but this, that time he wasn't looking for anything. His wheels got clicking and he finally wanted to do something. And he came in and he dropped a project on us and was like, can you turn this by tomorrow? I'm like, my guy, it's it's, <laughs> it, it's five o'clock. What's going on here? I was like, hold up. Let me go talk to Andres. And so I went to the back. I talked to Andres. I was like, bro, can we get this? Can we get this done? How um, many pieces? It was 100 pieces. Full cut and sew. Yeah. Um, like full, full cut and sew. We didn't even have the design cut ready yet. So 24 hour turnaround. You better not, not say this it, out loud. It, uh, wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't even 24 hours. And so I talked to Andres and he's like, if you come in at 2 a.m., we can get it done. I was like, fuck it. Let's do it. So, yeah, we made it happen um, and we delivered and that we earned his business pretty much for life after that. That's incredible. <laughs> how much revenue? What is that? Not Maybe if you don't want to share, how much has that turned into? Um, it's turned into a decent amount. It's not it's nothing crazy because um, he does a lot of screen print stuff for the most part for his brand. Um, and so we don't have screen print in house yet. We do hopefully plan on bringing it in this year um, in, in house because uh, we do most of our customers also do screen print, um, but they outsource it to other areas and stuff. Um, and so eventually we will have it here. Uh, so the majority of his business is screen print. So we don't do a ton of him, uh, but it has helped on other and so his network has then tapped in with us. Um, so we do several things, not just for him, but for his network that also saw the, the product we produced. Now, Josh, what's a typical turnaround time? If I just, and I notice you guys don't publicize your prices, which I kind of understand maybe a little bit, like you don't want to, you know, it's a competitive, competitive landscape. If I were to inquire in, you know, what's a typical turnaround time for sublimated tees or jerseys or something? Yeah, to be honest, I want to change that on the site. Like, uh, we just we're working on, on a rebuild now because I do want to show like range of prices based on on tiered um, volume uh, as just we haven't had a chance to work on it yet. Uh, but we, we are working on a rebuild to kind of put more information out there. Mm -hmm. um, but standard turnaround is anywhere from two to three weeks. Um, and one of the first qualifying questions we ask when an order comes in is when do you need it by? Um, and because we like to set expectations right out the gate and making sure that one, we can deliver on time. And two, if we can't, we let you know that before you place your order. Um, and this way we can manage those expectations. Um, but we have, like I just said, we've turned stuff in 24 hours. We've turned stuff in two days, three days. Um, it just really depends on what our current production flow is um, and what type of garment or product that is needed, whether art is ready, whether it needs individual names and numbers, what style of pattern, is it a t-shirt, is it a button down, is it a jersey, is it reversible, is it shorts? You know, it just really depends on the garment and what we got going on in production at that time. I think what I've learned about production, that what I've learned about sublimation that's different than screen printing is that sublimation is such a linear process and there are like there are long steps you know whether it's just sewing the sleeves or just doing all the placements and pattern building right and having to do that for all the different sizes and then like printing it through the the rolls and then sublimating it it's not like burn screens 
print shirts. Correct. Um, there are so many different steps along the way. 